hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to start a new topic a new subject and uh, the name of the subject is fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines so this subject fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines this subject is uh, one of the most important parts okay the most important components of mechanical engineering and instrumentation engineering well it is also taught in other uh, uh, br branches of engineering such as civil engineering as well but mostly you will find it in mechanical engineering instrumentation engineering and civil engineering now so these branches uh, they mostly have uh, the fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines now uh, it has its own importance for uh, the various uh, branches for mechanical and civil in instrumentation it is because of this hydraulic machines part it is taught in the instrumentation engineering uh, branch okay and mostly you will find its application in process control in industrial instrumentation industrial automation you will find the application of uh, fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines in the actuation part okay there are different types of actuation is a different concept and we'll discuss about uh, process control i will tell you so there are different types of actuation uh, mechanism pneumatic using air pressure uh, hydraulic using water pressure and electrical uh, using simple uh, uh, mechanisms uh, using electrical circuitry so for all that we need to understand uh, the basic concepts related to the mechanics of fluid liquids and gases okay so in this video we are just going to have a very basic introduction into what this subject is all about and then in the upcoming videos we'll be discussing about the other important concepts okay specifically uh, dedicated to a particular video okay fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines as the name of this subject suggests it is divided into two parts fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines so each part is different and separate but it will use the principles the hydraulic machines will require the principles of fluid mechanics to understand their uh, working principle their operation so this subject will discuss in two parts first fluid mechanics and then hydraulic machines so what is fluid mechanics so we can define fluid mechanics as that branch of science or engineering that deals with the behavior of fluids right? liquids and gases and in which state it is when the liquids or gases are at rest or when they are in motion okay and we'll also discuss the various energies associated with the fluid such as the kinetic energy the potential energy and all the other things that are associated we'll discuss them in detail there is a this is a whole you know a, a whole stream of things that we can connect it with this okay it's a very fast subject but we'll try to cover it in uh, as many uh, as many concepts as possible so it basically deals with the experimental behavior the observation of the flow of fluids and then we will draw our own conclusions on the basis of those observations so the fluid mechanics this part can be further divided into three parts first is statics second kinematics and third is dynamics the fluid mechanics part so if we try to understand them statics is concerned with the study of fluids at rest okay when they are at rest position kinematics 
is deals with the study the behavior of the fluids in motion and dynamics as i said it deals with the various uh, behavior of the fluids when various types of pressure forces are acting on those moving fluids when they are in motion here the various types of energies uh, associated with the fluid uh, such as the potential energy also called as potential head kinetic head all of that the bernoulli's equation various types of things they come into play there okay so the fluid mechanics uh, part is divided into three parts okay subdivided into three parts statics kinematics and dynamics next is the second part of the subject which is hydraulic machine so the hydraulic machine is uh, a device in which uh, the work the movement any any uh, displacement or any uh, anything the work is done by the force or produced by the liquids under pressure the pressure it it, it it is variable depending on how much amount of work is to be done the pressure is adjusted but the main component of hydraulic machines is liquids basically water is used but depending on the various uh, purposes other liquids can also be used but mainly hydraulics uh, the hydraulic machine water is the main component okay so various types of uh, hydraulic machines you can uh, find in your day to day life for example all the basic lifting mechanisms uh, excavation machines uh, pumping machines uh, nowadays uh, electrical actuation has taken over but uh, most of the uh, lifting pumping excavation uh, uh, the basic Uh, operating mechanism machinery that is used moving mechanism the, the escalators the elevators uh, the excavation machines the uh, the the the, uh, the 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 pumps the blowers whatever they they use the pneumatic or hydraulic uh, actuation mechanism that the movement of air at high pressure or liquids water at high pressure is used in those machinery so it is very important that we understand how the hydraulic machines they work because in industries it is uh, almost impossible to implement each and every mechanism with uh, electrical actuation at one point or another you will have to implement hydraulic or pneumatic mechanisms okay so still it is used Uh, in 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 its its uh, its demand is very high because at some places you cannot use electrical actuation mechanism in process control i am talking about from an instrumentation point of view uh in process control in automation at some places you will require electrical actuation at some places you will require pneumatic at some places you will require hydraulic so we must have a good understanding about all the actuation mechanisms actuation basically means to convert uh, a particular type of energy be it electric hydraulic pneumatic whatever energy into some kind of moving mechanism lifting mechanism okay that push pull mechanism that is what actuation means okay in electrical it is uh, achieved using fleming's rule the motors uh, that is used uh, the solenoids that are used for uh, the actuation for the push pull uh, up down lifting or displacement and in uh, hydraulic and pneumatic the air pressure or uh, water pressure is used so the whole uh, hydraulic machine this this the basic fundamental law which it uh, obeys is the pascal's law okay so the pascal's law uh, is the main operating principle of hydraulic machine well there are other laws as well which we'll study but basically it is the pascal's law which governs the whole uh, hydraulic machine the operation of the hydraulic machinery 
so the pascal's law it states that uh, a pressure change at any point in a confined or isolated incompressible fluid it is transmitted equally and uniformly throughout the fluid it means when the pressure change is ha it happens at any one point at any one end in a isolated or confined incompressible fluid that same pressure change is transmitted equally and uniformly at each and every point in that confined space okay so confined means it is a closed container or anything like that arrangement and incompressible means fluids which have a constant density mass per unit volume okay so this law was given by blaise pascal okay and uh, this is the pascal's law okay so let us try to understand the pascal's law with a simple uh, ram and piston arrangement this mechanism which is used the basic hydraulic actuation mechanism so basically here we have a closed container okay a reservoir containing water here we have a piston and ram arrangement okay we apply a certain downward force here okay as a result of which depending on the force that we apply the surface area of this piston okay which is a1 a certain amount of pressure is generated here okay p1 is equal to f1 by a1 pressure is force per unit area so here the pressure generated is p1 now according to pascal's law the same pressure is transmitted equally throughout this fluid and the pascal's law it states that p1 is equal to p2 it means the same pressure p1 is transmitted equally throughout this whole container or reservoir of water and the pressure acting on this ram here at this point is also equal to p1 that's why here p1 is equal to p2 okay so here the pressure generated is p1 which is because of f1 by a1 the applied force f1 and here the pressure acting on this ram is also p1 okay because p1 is equal to p2 as per pascal's law and we can write it in this way also f1 by a1 is equal to f2 by a2 where a2 is the surface area of the ram and f2 is the resultant upward force now this upward force is used for lifting mechanism as i said hydraulic actuation is used for various purposes the hydraulic machines it is a simple hydraulic machine that you can understand so here a uh, force is applied a downward force is applied as per pascal's law the same pressure which is generated because of the surface area of this piston is transmitted equally and the same pressure acting on this ram causes it to move upward which can be used to lift heavy objects okay so this is the whole principle now if we take a2 on the lhs okay this a2 will take to this side then f2 will be equal to a2 by a1 into f1 now the surface area of this side is naturally higher so a2 by a1 will be greater than 1 so naturally this upward force will be greater than this downward applied force you understand a2 has a larger surface area than a1 when we take a2 to this lhs side we will have f2 is equal to a2 by a1 into f1 a2 is higher so a2 by a1 will be naturally greater than 1 so we will have a higher lifting force the upward lifting force will be much higher than the applied force okay so this is the whole concept of pascal's law this is a simple mechanism which you can uh, 
just uh, see to understand how a hydraulic machine works and how Pascal's law is used. Okay, so this is the basic concept related to fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines. So we'll in the upcoming videos discuss all the basic concepts related to it and then we'll discuss the key concepts associated. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.